Welcome back, everybody. This is Eric here with I Write Veteran 8888. Today, I'd like to answer an extremely common question. I get this question all the time, and I figured I would just make a video addressing this particular question. People ask me all the time, hey, is it okay to leave magazines loaded for a long period of time? Does it mess up the spring? Is it bad for the mag? So I want to kind of break this down a little bit and, and talk about it. Uh, before we get started, I would like to thank our friends at Sonoran Desert Institute for supporting our videos. SDI has some awesome gunsmithing programs. If you're looking for a career in gunsmithing technology, anything in the firearms world, they're definitely your go-to people for higher education. Uh, check them out. Great friends of the channel, SDI, Sonoran Desert Institute. You can check out the link in the description box below and tell them we sent you. Okay, so where does this come from? All right, what actually wears out a magazine? Have you ever thought about it? Okay, a spring when it is decompressed and then it it uh, it's compressed and then decompresses, right? There's a limited amount of cycles that that spring can can go through that type of uh, abuse over and over again before it just wears out and needs to be replaced, right? So if we load the magazine, we're compressing the spring. Okay, now leaving this magazine loaded is not a big deal. This particular one's loaded here. I've got a Glock magazine for a Model Twenty. 10 millimeter and I've got a brand new PMAG in the wrap that we're going to take out and I want to show you something. So you guys know these uh, these little covers on the PMAGs that I'm sure many of you throw these away. There's a reason for these. Okay, so if you load this magazine and then put this, this little cover back on there, okay, it will actually push down and compress the rounds a little bit so they don't wear out the uh, feed lips or the feed lips don't wind up pushing out. So the magazine body has a lot to do with it as well. On a plastic polymer magazine body, you know, you, you want to kind of be mindful of that, that they can open up and split over time and everything, and that's why Magpul includes these little covers. Uh, for one, one, that keeps the dust out, but then two, it also keeps the feed lips from getting deformed or anything like that. Now, on metal magazines, obviously not really a big issue there. Or in the case of the Glock mag, it's steel lined with a, a steel liner in there. Not an issue. So the short answer is no. Uh, it does not harm a magazine to leave it loaded for a long period of time. Um, I'd probably recommend every, you know, maybe every five or six months or so, you might want to pull the ammo out and just check everything. I think what tends to happen with people is, you know, they'll have a magazine loaded whether they're carrying around in their pocket or maybe in their book bag or, or their satchel or their vehicle or something like that, and you wind up getting a whole bunch of dust bunnies and little crumbs and bull crap and hair and stuff like that down in there, just it's inevitable part of carrying a gun, right? Um, it's probably a good idea to pull the ammo out every now and then and just blow the magazine out with some compressed air and just check it. And, you know, you should be running your mags on a little bit of a cycle anyway, um, the short answer is that you can leave them loaded just about indefinitely, but I think most people tend to pull the ammo out every couple of uh, months or so and just that or just cycle the magazine through. But the answer is it is the continuous compression and decompression of the spring that destroys the what they call the memory of the spring. Springs are made from a whole different type, bunch of different types of material, right? All right, you've got the thickness of the spring that determines, you know, how strong it is. You know, we, we actually have quite a bit of technology at our disposal, right? When you look at a company like Wolf Springs, uh, they're just ones that, that comes to mind. Whenever I need to replace springs, like uh, recently, I just resprung uh, M1 carbine, and you can go on their website and order all the freaking springs you want for just about any gun, right? So as long as you know the spec of the spring and what it's supposed to do, the original intent and, and power that the spring is supposed to deliver, now this is getting outside of magazines, but springs do have kind of a finite life to them that they will eventually wear out. Now, one trick that you can do, if you've got a weak magazine spring, you can pull it out and you can kind of stretch it a little bit and then put it back in the magazine and you'll probably get a bit of life out of it. But if it's getting to the point where you're having to pull the, the springs out and stretch them to try to kind of get them to last a bit longer, it's probably time to respring. Okay, so think about springs almost like a consumable uh, in a way, right? Like if you use a given magazine enough times, that spring is going to begin to wear out. Um, I actually have a, uh, I have a, uh, a Mac 11 A1 open bolt full auto 380. And, uh, you know, those magazines are kind of hard to get, right? 
So I've been trying to kind of like pull that spring out and stretch it a little bit from time to time to try to get the gun to run a bit. Now, obviously, in a machine gun, um, <laughs> springs are very paramount, not only for the operation of the gun, but especially the magazines. You've got to have good springs in your mags when you're running a machine gun because that spring has got to be able to keep up with that bolt reciprocating really quickly, especially on something with a really short stroke on the bolt, like a Mac 10 or a Mac 11. Um, like the Beretta M9, okay, in Desert Storm, Iraq, Afghanistan, all the conflicts that the M9 was used in, a lot of soldiers complained that the M9 was not a reliable pistol. And, you know, many would argue uh, that a lot of times the magazines were the culprit. Okay, so if you had a crummy M9 that wouldn't run worth a crap, you go to the supply uh, sergeant and you get some fresh magazines, and guess what? Problem solved. So, you know, a firearm works through a series of different different <laughs> mechanical manipulations that have to happen, right? Uh, you know, everything, and I'm not going to get into like all the technicalities of how different guns work, but the spring in the magazine is an integral part of how a semi-automatic or full automatic or any auto-loading type of firearm is going to operate, right? So um, that's a good question. I do get it all the time about springs. Uh, you can leave your mags loaded. It's not a problem. If you're going to leave your P-mags loaded, probably want to put the little dust cover on there just to, to get that pressure off of the magazine uh, lips, the feed lips, okay? Uh, but other than that, generally, you know, if, you, if you're running a gun and you start to experience problems, I would generally suspect the magazine first. Uh, if your gun's giving you issues, always try a fresh mag, and sometimes that's, that's generally about all it is. Um, you're not going to really hurt the mags at all to leave them loaded. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't leave them loaded for a decade or anything, uh, but generally um, the, the power of the spring is going to be dependent on how many times it's been uh, compressed and decompressed. As it starts to lose its memory, it loses its power, it loses its strength. So uh, there's the answer. Hopefully this is, I, I know this wasn't exactly a straight to the point answer, but I was trying to kind of articulate a few other points uh, as well. So thanks for tuning in. That's the answer. Uh, it Look, it, it's not a big deal. I, I understand where a lot of people will probably want to know that because maybe they're new to guns and they're worried they're going to mess the magazine spring up by having the, the mag loaded for a long period of time. Uh, but I assure you, uh, you're, you're definitely good to go. So thanks so much for watching today's video. I wanted to answer that question. That's a frequently asked question I get all the time. So here's the answer. Uh, thank you so much for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, go over to Ballistic Inc. and pick yourself up an awesome new t-shirt. That's one way that you can support the channel if you wish to. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you're getting all of our videos. We'll see you soon.